Thank you so much for being here. I was born in Iran, and we know that nuclear bomb and issue starts somewhere, and now U.S. government is starting the issue of uh, nuke with the name of Iran. Iran, I don't know if you know where it's located. It is located in the Middle East, right south of Russia, north of Pakistan. Both have nuclear weapons. Also, India, China, and Israel in that region. And if nuclear weapons, if nuclear war starts in Iran, or any kind of war starts in Iran, that would be the end of all of us, the end of world and earth. Right now, Iran was providing oil to China, to um, India, and to uh, to um, um, China, India, Syria, and uh, Japan. And those are important need and important countries. And they are not going to just give in like that for them. So I was born a few years after Dr. Masetek. Uh, started working on nationalization of Iranian oil from British. About 140 years ago, Iran had started having oil, and First World War was won on the oil, second on Iranian oil, and Second World War was won on uh, Iranian oil. When Mossadegh nationalized oil, I was 13 years old. And U.S., even though Mossadegh asked the United States to be negotiator and come in between and make peace, Eisenhower carried coup d'etat against Dr. Mossadegh. We have carried coup d'etats all over the world since then, hundreds of countries. Americans don't know what coup d'etat means. Coup d'etat means, and on second, third day in Iran, there were trucks that they were filling bodies, dead and alive, of people, women and children, bleeding from their hair and moving, not quite dead, some of them trucks carrying tanks, carrying bodies, thousands and hundreds putting in the trucks and moving. Coup d'etat means that, means killing, mass murder of the people of a country who are resisting for their interest. I moved to United States. My brother right then finished his medical school and he was arrested, and he was about to be executed, and um, was saved by a friend of us. I moved, we moved to United States all while we couldn't live in our country. So I want you to think of all these immigrants, and look at their country, and look how we carried coup d'etat, made it impossible for them to live in their own country, and they are at the border, and they are separating from children, and they, from their children, and they are suffering. This is our own doing, repeatedly. Nobody wants to leave their homeland. They want to be their own neighborhood, with their friends, with their relatives, with their community and culture. Those things, those aggressions, those wars, does that. You know, in the last 20 years in Afghanistan, in um, Iraq, in Syria, in Yemen, 
in um, uh, Somalia, in all, all those in um, Gaddafi of uh, Libya, and all those countries the United States has then carried war and in Iran as well. Supposedly, right now, the United States is not in direct war with Iran. But the things that they are doing, you need to know about them, what is going on. In Iran, we have about 4 million refugees from Afghanistan because of the U.S. war. We have tons of opium, which United States, when they were in Vietnam, it was plenty of opium right there. Now it is in Afghanistan, and it's flooded Iran with opium. I had to go back in 1978, 70, 78, when my mother died in Iran, when my father died to take my mother back home. CIA creates a CIA a SAP um, in those countries. In Iran, they created Sabak. Sabak was dreadful prison torture center, which was created by CIA in Iran that was torturing Iranians. I was arrested and put in solitary confinement in Sabak, by Sabak. And I was there, of course, two and a half months, but then they felt the movement was going on for revolution, and they felt she's no good, and they got rid of me. But I would see the torture, the people that they would torture when they would pass it through my... It was in, I was in solitary confinement. I would hear the leg of those that they were tortured and somebody was carrying them to their cell. Once in a while I would see it if they would leave that open, which generally they wouldn't. But you could hear the, the moaning and the way they would carry them to their cell. Tens of them every day. And so many executions. All of these, and I can show you here, these are, this is map of Iran, as you know right now, that supposedly we are not at war. 42 U.S. military bases, or military bases that was created surrounding Iran. So, and they dropped as you probably heard in 1982, 1988, they dropped uh, Iranian civilian airline with 297 passengers that they killed. And of course, the person who did it in, uh, got awarded uh, was, was awarded for what he did. Mm. These are the things that U.S. government is doing around the world with your tax dollars. Six trillion dollar T, six trillion dollar alone is gone to Iraq war of your tax dollars. Now Afghanistan figured it out and other places as well. Thank you, and I am hoping that we all would work. One side of U.S. <coughs> is military, and the other one, nuclear, nuclear industry, that what is doing to all of us. If you pay attention to that, first of all, you can figure out that really, unfortunately, our bread and butter in the United States is killing people around the world. Military. That's what it is. And then in Iran, there is, for 10 years during Shah, Iran was the largest purchaser of military industry from United States 
with Iranian oil and attacking on behalf of United States what Israel now is doing in the Middle East in a way Iran was gendarme of, reach, of the region at that time, attacking uh, Dofar, which is close to Yemen, and for 16 years destroying the movement of people. You'll see what is going on. And Iraq, too. They were. Yep. And Afghanistan, too. So I'm going to try to play this. Okay. Here's a map of the world as it was in 1950. And you see the red dots and the green dots? That shows you where we were selling arms in 1950. And then if this runs, it, well, they were, we've jumped to 1983. Oh, but it's not moving. It's not moving. Anyway, here we go. There we go. Here we go. Can so, you get it back to the 1970s? <laughs> 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 Probably not. Probably not. A little bit to the left. Wait a little bit. About, about there. About there. About there. Let's yes. see if we can get it. Shows all of the, the colors. There. So it's basically, the reason I wanted to show the 1970s and this ties uh, things together is uh, the 1970s was the last decade of the Shah in Iran. And uh, during that decade, Iran had the highest importing of U.S. weapons of any country in any decade. Uh, and at the end of that time, the, the Shah was considering uh, get, developing nuclear weapons. Uh, the revolution uh, cut that off. And uh, uh, one of the handouts that we handed out has some, some references. One reference called um, Manufactured Crisis uh, by Gareth Porter. Um, yeah, I think we've already handed it out. Yeah. Uh, makes a very good case that, in fact, Iran never, uh, particularly under the Mullahs, never in fact did have a nuclear weapons program. Um, they were trying to develop nuclear energy, uh, but the US uh, didn't want them to do that. And uh, just like they're doing with sanctions against Iran now, uh, went uh, to extreme lengths. Now you can oh, here see we go. The, the, cha the changing year and the amount of stuff moving. Right. Okay. This is U.S. military sale now, around the world. Now you see it coming down to right. South the, America. The little thing in purple under 1973 says Iran was the, uh, the largest country of importer of U.S. arms during that decade. Um, but uh, if you're interested in following it up, do read um, the uh, Gareth Porter Manufacturing so Crisis. So the purple is going to Iran, uh, going to various Mahidia, places, Saudi Arabia. Media Benjamin. Yes. And th this is this is Vim Vimeo, and it's the United States of Arms. So, if you see, this is the what you need to write this down on a piece of paper. This is the or just copy it. Or we can Google it and probably find it. Yes, yes. the United yeah. States of Arms. Which you see, so here we are, ninety-three, and it's it's uh, a map of the world showing industrial uh, companies such as Lockheed Martin and other companies that exist in, in within a few miles of here who are making these weapons and selling them. These are not all nuclear weapons. These are weapons of all kinds. These are all kinds of weapons. And including weapons. fighter planes and things like and that. And don't forget, the United States is the largest supplier of weaponry, period. Yeah, that's, that's what this, this is trying to, this map, this moving map is trying to show you, that it continues. Okay, so we're about through here. I did want to make yeah. one more point. Also, just letting you know that about, about the Shah with the nuclear weapons, yes, in the mid-70s, he was personally sending students to MIT, as I was mentioning the other day, double the size of the nuclear engineering department, paid double tuition to get 10 Iranian students every year into MIT, mm -hmm. to the nuclear department, yeah. Yes, uh, but when uh, Khomeini yeah. came to power, he shut it all down. Yeah all the nuclear programs, he shut them down. Uh, within five years, he decided that nuclear energy programs should be started again. Um, but Gareth Porter makes the case that they never did start any nuclear weapons program. Uh, and a lot of the, of the points that the US government is making against Iran as far as nuclear uh, research is concerned 
was because Iran had to go around behind the back of the U.S. because the U.S. was not allowing uh, them to straightforwardly develop any nuclear energy uh, capability. And so uh, that brings us to the JCPOA, Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, the treaty between Iran and uh, six other countries plus, uh, I think, the European Union. Uh, it, as far as I can tell, Iran is complete, was completely in compliance with that. Uh, the U.S.'s side of it was to um, reduce the sanctions, uh, which they did not do. Uh, and then, of course, we know that the president, <coughs> present president withdrew from that. Uh, so we're very concerned about, about that. And